that's what I like. Okay, hey guys. So, today I have a wig review. Now, I did this wig review like last year but i didn't like the way it came out or the way i looked or anything so i just deleted the whole video so now it's wig season again um so now i'm gonna do it again for you guys and hopefully this is better i like this better i'm here in my studio um back in my beauty studio and yeah i hope you guys if you follow me on instagram then you saw like the before and after of this room um and yeah so i actually love it back here i wish it was a little bit bigger um just because when i'm like fulfilling orders and stuff like that it's a lot um depending on how many orders i get like if i get one or two orders then it's fine but when i get like 20 orders at a time it's like whoa and i have to um figure out spacing and stuff like that sometimes i bring in like extra tables and stuff so um, but I'm very blessed to have this room, so I'm still happy and grateful. So, don't forget to click the link down below for 10% off your purchase of Adage Beauty products. And yeah, so we're going to get into this video. This is Shake and Go's Viva. I really hope you guys can see me. I did the little zoom out thing, so. But this is Viva. Um, and I just have her in this bag. I need a brush. Okay. So I got a brush so yeah so this is the Viva lash and if you saw my um scarf wig review this is the same day I literally just changed my outfit and stuff um to be more comfortable um you already know that my wig like my braids aren't as flat as they usually are when I'm put on wigs so I don't know how this is gonna fit on my head um I'm hoping it fits okay but my braids aren't really flat like at all um so we're gonna see how this goes um yeah so take the wig out this is she and in my last review the one that i deleted i said that i ordered the wrong color and i'm like really soddy i got the ff30 color but the color that i really wanted which is i got this one and this is the card and this is all the colors it comes in. I got the FF30, but I really wanted the F427 color. So it's it's very similar. It's just a tad, tad bit lighter. And so I'm kind of soddy, but I still think it's cute. I haven't worn it out yet. I literally did the review and threw it back in the bag and kept it pushing. Um, where I keep all my wigs, I keep my wigs in an ottoman um seating thing so i took them all out the boxes but i kept the bags and the netting and the cart so i know which wig it is but that's where all my all that's why my wig is in a bag is because i keep them all in an ottoman now that um my like white fluffy ottomans if you see my picture of my studio um you know what i'm talking about that's where i keep my own wigs um and as well as my weaves and ponytails and all that good stuff so this is the free trust equal five inch lace part viva wig so this is she it says oh ff stands for face framing i didn't know that so i think the reason i got this was because um i wanted the little face frame and highlights and i've seen some wigs that i want to get and now that's cold i might just treat myself to them um i've been wanting to do the little face frame and highlights like but it's like really blonde and the rest is whatever so stay tuned that's probably what i'm gonna focus on this season um but yeah so this f530 is really cute though and yeah your basic wig instructions so we're gonna take it out and go and get into the review <clears throat> i wasn't feeling good the last review anyway so like yeah so hopefully this one's better so this is she i think i brushed it out when i first got it um but yeah so this is she, and I remember when I tried it on, I said, this is the curl pattern that I received, but like to me, the curl pattern is like more of a wavy texture, you know what I'm saying? Where this, I feel like it's more coily or like at least bigger waves, if that makes sense. So she a little ratted in the inside, but that's what, that's what uh, I was saying. So here's the part down the middle. Dun, dun. 
it did not come with um lace or anything like that so it wasn't a lace front it wasn't a lace front it was just a lace parting wig so i didn't have to worry about any lace on the sides because y'all know i cut that off anyways because i don't do all that baby hair stuff um two little clips in the front big one in the back so like i said i uh my braids are very bumpy so we gonna see we're just gonna see if this gonna work out so take the clips do not dig clips into your head just take them and put them underneath your wig cap like so like that according to the brow ain't this cute y'all some people be wearing their wigs like this like some people um have like put a little bun at the top of their head and put their wig on please don't do that please put it at the sit it down at your nape um yeah okay then ooh, it's pulling a little bit ah, if this looks right i'm definitely about to wear this to work today I'm trying to pull it down as much as possible over these braids but guys this is what we're getting. This is my braid that's in here. Hold on, wait. I can't go out like this. Technical difficulties, please help. not for real um so we're just gonna go with god on this one uh-huh what if i like do a side part let's do that let's do like throw it on the side even though it's not supposed to be the side part and then it'll look like i got volume on the side of my head or something i don't know guys I'm trying to grab this wig cap not my freaking edges so that's what we're doing Keep in mind, this wig is not supposed to be a middle uh, side part, but I don't want to make it seem like I got a knot on the top of my head. So we're going to throw it to the side and make it seem like I got volume or something. I don't know if this plan is going to work out the way I think it is, but pull it down. Hey, I think it worked, guys. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. Okay. So now it's kind of flat on the side where my party is in my head. And then I got my little bumpy right here. But it looks like I got volume and it's a little bangy bang. Not the bang bang. Okay. So this is she. I actually kind of like it as a side part, y'all. It's irritating my... Because now the side part is extra here on the side. So... Oh! Like so like that. Like so like that. Okay. Um... So yeah, let me make sure y'all still recording. Um, so yeah, this is she. I think it's cute, y'all. I think it's cute. I don't know what it would look like as a middle. I guess it would look like this. But today we're wearing it as a side, and I actually kind of like it as a side. I'm not, I'm not really hating on it at all. I'm gonna push my mirror back so I can see a little bit more. I'm not hating on it as a side at all. Um. Get my thumbnails. Um, okay. So this is she. Let me throw it in a bit. Oh, she kind of getting a little little tangle. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna cap. She's getting a little tangle. But not too bad. Here's the back. Stand up a little bit. Okay. So I got my dog right here and he's looking at me like I'm crazy. Um, so, see, like, every time I try to, like, run my hands through the ends, it does get a little tangled, especially back there on the nape. But if you wear synthetic hair, you know the nape is always the top of the back of the neck. You know, she always trying to catch you slipping. So, whoever, I need my inventors out there. 
my wig inventors or whatever, whoever come up with wig stuff. I need y'all to, I don't know, just, I don't care. I'll pay two extra dollars. Just throw a little bit more quality in the back, okay? Because we be sweating. Just throw a little bit more quality. I'll pay two extra dollars or whatever. Just in the back. Ain't okay, gonna I'm sorry about that. Um, My phone ran out of storage, so I had to delete some apps that I haven't used yet. Um, So back to what I was saying. Yeah, wig adventures. I need y'all to really just throw a little bit more quality in the bag. So I'm trying to hurry up so I don't take up any more storage. Um, I like this wig. It feels like the strands feel kind of coarse. Um, the only thing I said it does tangle at the ends. My dog wants me to hold him. Say hi. Hi. Um. But yeah, so I'm definitely about to wear this to work today, guys. Um very flowy bouncy very um it's thick but it's not like um heavy you know what i'm saying it's thick but it's not heavy i think it has a lot of coverage which is good like you can't see through it but at the same time i don't think i would get hot in this wig some wigs you might get hot in and then the hair also i have very sensitive skin so sometimes wigs itch like itch my skin um, or make me itch whatever the proper way to say it is this isn't itching me i like the material or the fabric or <laughs> the whatever the quality of the hair is or whatever i'm supposed to call it um so yeah y'all um maybe one day stay up stay um make sure you follow me on instagram so whenever i have flatter braids and i wear in the middle part you can see it in the middle part if you really want to see it in the middle part but i think side part worked um it's my imp improvisation um and i hope y'all don't think i'm stupid i'm a senior in college industrial engineering okay i'm not stupid i'm just having a hard time with words right now um so yeah and it's not long like it's it doesn't seem like it would be long so here on her it came like to the top of her breast and like to the bottom of her shoulder blades and to me it's, it's kind of doing the same thing um, the only thing I like I said, I don't think her curl pattern, but they probably didn't brush it out or nothing like that either. Um, I don't think the curl pattern is the same. Like to me, this is waves in hair, but this is more curls. Um, but I still think it's very cute. I still think I'm cute. Um, and I like this color. Like I said, I wish I would have got, okay, get down. I wish I would have got, um, the 27 cause it's just a little bit brighter, but I think this, looks good on my skin tone sort of kind of kind of sort of so and she kind of staticky on the sweatshirt but yeah so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if you have any more questions let me know of course i got this wig from ebonyline.com i want to say it was either $14.95 or $19.95 um so definitely it was less than $20 um it was less than 20 it was at $14.95 or $19.95 and I think right now they're doing like 70% off something or something like that so yeah thanks for watching bye